Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 3-1 of October, November 2021 for A-level math. With that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions that we have for you today. So here we have question number one, solve this uh, equation, giving you answers with an S, so more than one answers here, correct to three decimal places. Something we have to know is very simple. How do you break this down? So usually when you have modulus, let's say of X equal to A, so you can say X is equal to a or x is equal to minus a. So similarly here we can apply the same concepts. So that should be 4, 5 power x minus 1 is equal to 5 power x or 4, 5 power x minus 1 is equal to minus 5 power x. So let's solve one by one. So for the first equation here, let's try to uh, make x become subject. So here you have expand, you have 4 times 5 power x minus 4 is equal to 5 power x. Now send all the 5 power x to one side, you will have 4, 5 power x minus 5 power x equal to 4. Now 4 minus 1, right, 1, that should be 3. So 3 times 5 power x is a value of 4. Therefore, I can conclude 5 power x is a value of 4 over 3. Now, because x is the power here, I want to bring it down. I have to apply ln or log on both sides. Up to you. I can apply ln on both sides. Now, of course, use the laws of logs. That should be x over here, ln of 5, is a value of ln of 4 over 3. Therefore, x will be simply ln of 4 over 3 divided by ln of 5. Now this is one way of solving this, the other way you can square both sides if you want to, and then eventually you will have your answers as well. So ln of 4 over 3 divided by ln of 5. That should be 0 0.179, correct you, 3 decimal place. That's the first one. Now what is the second answer? So let's proceed as <laughs> the same way, that will, be, that will be 4, 5 power x minus 4 is the value of minus 5 power x. Then so this over here become plus, so 4 plus 1 is 5, times 5 power x is 4. So 5 power x is the value of 4 over 5. So here we want to bring this down, that should be ln on both sides. That will be ln over here as well. Now this will be sent over here, so x ln of 5 equal to ln of 4 over 5. Therefore in the end x is the value of ln of 4 over 5 divided by ln of 5. So ln of 4 over 5, that should be minus 0 0.139, correct to 3SF. So here we have two possible values, the first one is this, and this is the other one, correct to 3 decimal place, and that is your question uh, number 1. Now let's move on to question number 2. So here we have to express this whole thing in this form, where r is a positive value and alpha is between 0 to pi by 2 radians. So let's try to find those values. Again, R is a, is a formula we have to know. R is simply square root 5 squared is 25 minus 3 squared. Again, minus sign doesn't really matter. It should be 9. That should be root of 34, right? So double check. 25 plus 9 should be 34. So alpha is simply tan inverse of 3. We don't care about the sign. should be over 5. Again, these are formulas that we have to know to solve this. Using radians, that should be 3 over 5. That will be 0 0.54, correct to 2 decimal place. Therefore, in the end, it should be r is root of 34, sine of x minus 0 0.54 as your answer for part 1 of your question for 3 marks. Let's move on. For part b, hence, it means using this, uh, well, this result find the greatest and the least possible value of this. Now, let me uh, write this over here. So in the question below, we have 5 sine of x minus 3 cos of x squared. Now we have seen this value here is what? Well, we have shown this becomes this. So let's replace. That will become root of 34 sine of x minus 0 0.54 square. Now let's expand this, okay? 
that will become root of 34 squared is 34, and then you have sine square of your angle over here. Now, what is the max and min value for this? So now you should know, uh, well, you should know sine of any angle is between the values of minus 1 and 1. So sine square should be what? Between 1? Well, uh, well, this is not going to be 1 because it will be 0. Let me show you why. Because uh, if you look at the graph of sine of your angle, it is something like this. Be 1 here, and this should be minus 1. Now if it's square, if you become positive, well as an example, the one below here will not be here, it will be something over here. So as you can see, this new graph will be something like this. I mean in concept, at least in concept, it will be something like this. It will not have any negative value. But 0 here, 0 and 0 will remain, therefore the min value should be 0 and the max value should be, should be 1. Okay. Again, this is not the graph, but as a concept, at least you understand that there will be no negative value, so the min value will change to zero instead. So what is the min value? Min value should be one. This will be zero, so you will become 34 times zero, that will be zero. Now what is the max value? It is one, it is one, so that will be 34 times one, that will be 34. So min and max, here we go, this is your question number two the description below and click on this link to access the patreon page for the full video with that being said good luck and thank you for watching